guys, so now I'm going to show you how to make my spaghetti squash salad. You can also eat it as a pasta. It's just delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the stuff you need. You're going to need one roasted spaghetti squash. You'll need a few stalks of green onion. You'll need one cup of edamame. I'm using rinsed frozen edamame. Some sliced mushrooms. I'm using some baby bella mushrooms. Some mini sweet peppers. You can also replace it with some bell peppers if you don't have these. You'll need one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lime juice, one teaspoon of tamari sauce, one teaspoon of maple syrup, one tablespoon of natural organic peanut butter, half a teaspoon of onion powder, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, some cayenne pepper and salt to taste, You'll need one tablespoon of olive oil. All right guys, so we're gonna get started with the recipe. To start off, um, take your edamame and place it onto a parchment lined tray. And just spread it out evenly. And just like that, we're going to go ahead and roast these in the oven at 300 degrees for about 20 minutes. Alright guys, to prep the mushrooms, we're going to take a non-stick skillet and turn it on to medium heat. And as the pan is heating, go ahead and add your tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, and now we can go ahead and add the mushroom. You can let them cook and stirring occasionally. This will take about five to ten minutes. All right, guys. So the mushrooms have reduced in size, you can see. We can go ahead and add our green onion, and I've diced the onions, and go ahead and stir. We can go ahead and add some seasonings. I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm just using black pepper. And at this point, you don't have to cook for any, any longer, just a couple minutes. And to tell when to remove it from the heat, whenever the water is completely reduced, you can go ahead and remove the mushrooms and the green onions from the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. All right guys, to assemble the recipe, you'll take a large glass bowl and we'll go ahead and fork out our spaghetti squash. Just like that. Just remove all of it out. Go ahead and do the same thing with the next one. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and take our mushrooms that we just cooked and add it into our spaghetti squash. And I have thinly sliced the sweet mini peppers, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that into our mixture. And the edamames have roasted. We're gonna go ahead and add our edamame to the mixture as well. All right guys, so I have added all the ingredients that we needed for our sauce, which included the maple syrup, the soy sauce or the tamari, and all the seasonings and lime juice. It's all in here, we're gonna go ahead and mix it. All right guys, so once the sauce is mixed, it's gonna look like this. In 
go ahead and toss all the ingredients together. And once it's tossed, it's gonna look like this. And you can add any more seasonings at this point or leave it like it is. But I love it as a salad or just a side pasta if you don't wanna have too much carbs. This is good and nutritious. I hope you give this tasty recipe a try and if you like it, please press the thumbs up button.